landing. So I just had a little dance session with Sauda. <laughs> Sauda has been working like with my family since before my parents even met each other. So she was working for my dad before he even met my mom. So she's been with us for over 22 years. Anyway guys, hello, my name is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a fun one. It's a little bit of a different one. It is 8.18 a.m. My house is going to be the meeting point for a bunch of my friends. Well, to be fair, it's my friend and my sister, some of my sister's friend because it's one of my sister's birthdays. No, because it's one of my sister's friend's birthday tomorrow. So we're all going to the island. I got her this. She doesn't know I got her this yet. But I got it just yesterday when I was in the supermarket with my mom. Just for like a little fun thing so her, for her to wear. A little bit of background. I live in Tanzania in a city called Dar es Salaam. And every once in a while, me and some of my friends or whoever wants to go, we go to the island that is nearby here. There are a few islands you can go to. We're going today to Mburia Island. Basically, you go from your house to a place where you can... Like, get a boat to the island now, if you have your own boat that's a plus but we do not have our own boat and in terms of preparation and like food and drinks and stuff you can buy it there and i think we're gonna buy lunch there but in terms of like drinks i'm going to be making some cool boxes right now And this is a little tip because we don't take like ice packs. What we do is we take little just water bottles and we put them in the freezer. As the day passes, they just obviously become water. This is a way to get cold water, but also keep your other drinks in your cool box cold as well. That's one cool box done. I'm going to do the other one. Wait for everyone to come here and then we're going to go. Hey, I'm vlogging for you. Sick. She said okay. So this is me. My sister woke up at like 7.30 to get ready. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. Spent 20 minutes looking for my bikini. And now I'm ready. And I've come down to see that every single bag of mine is ready. I didn't do nothing. See you in a bit. Hopefully when people are here. Mm. So we told everybody to... I'm looking at the time. Nine. I'm just showing them time. <laughs> Everyone should be here by 8.50 so we can leave by 9 so that we're like on the road and like gonna take the boat like at 10, 10, 15. Guess what time it is? We're running on Tanzanian time and it's 9.01 currently right now. And me and my sister are the only ones here. There's meant to be like 12 <laughs> people here. <laughs> we are the first person here. We and what's the time? 20 minutes late. But no, I'm not. We said we're leaving by 9.15. No, I didn't. Yeah, we said we have to be on the road at 9.15, so be here by 9. Well, I'm here on time anyway. <laughs> no, he's late. I'm early. He's I'm early than everyone else. This is the water, that is the boat, and I'm not stepping through all that, so I'm wearing my shoes. Hey, so we got here about an hour ago and we just kind of chilled at one of the bandas and played beer pong and some people went swimming but some other people are going swimming now. This is what one side of the island looks like and then if you go around it goes literally all the way there. So this is all Mbudia Island. So we have just 
finished our lunch, me and Smitty had prawns each. We had like prawns and chips. What do they do? Do you like order the food and then they go out and catch it? Like they have a stock that they do. But like for example, the like the lobster. They probably don't keep that caught. They probably have to go catch it. One of our friends, he ordered a lobster and they just didn't have that for him. So they were like, oh, we'll go out and like catch it. So now I don't know if they actually went up to catch it or they found like stock in the freezer or something. It's maybe not the season for lobster, but it's definitely the season for jellyfish. <laughs> not yet. There is stuff in that water, I'll tell you that much. But we have decided to come to tan a little bit, like away from the banda and like near the water. Just to chill for a bit, digest our food and be in the sun. It is almost 3 p.m. and we are getting the 4.30 boat back. And the boat like literally just like picks us up from there. Then it takes us back to where we got dropped off this morning. And then from there we just go home. Rain Booty Island out of 1 to 10. Nine. How have you become to a nine? Like, what's the uh, immaculate vibes? It's not crowded, there's lots of space, there's and it's a Sunday today, which is surprising because usually a Sunday would be like super crowded. And like, even though there are quite a few people, it's not like insane amount of people. Yeah. And usually good food, but there's no calamari, so that's my minus one point. The group that we're with today is like maybe we don't speak like all the time but we all know of each other like whether either like either we know each other from school or like our parents are still friends or whatever it is so it's kind of nice look at them there some people are in the water though i think well, i'm not sure look at maya tomato in the wild Oops. what would you rate in Bodia island out of 10. i mean i've been to greece so this is quite this is quite low that's rude had dinner my camera ran out of battery while we were playing volleyball but it was really fun I mean I didn't do that much and my hand does hurt from serving the ball a few times but it was fun nonetheless after that we literally just went back on the same boat and then drove home and that's all for this video so that was Mbudia Island in Dar es Salaam Tanzania and that was a day with a bunch of my friends and some of my sister's friends all going to the island for the day so thanks for watching subscribe and see you in the next video